We have all these amazing reservoirs that we're responsible for, and it's an asset to the city, to the water district, and it's something that we want to protect. Water is our future, so we, we need to protect it. We've got really healthy reservoirs. We've got some things that we need to watch. That's why we do what we do. But these reservoirs are in pretty good shape. Whether we use them for recreation or depend on them for drinking water, in North Texas, reservoirs renew and sustain us. Protecting them is vital, and it's a huge part of what we do. We're the Tarrant Regional Water District, and we own and operate four major reservoirs and use three others to satisfy the water needs of more than two million people in North Texas. Keeping tabs on water quality is important, and we do it through an established sampling program. It's a program that allows us to track the health of our reservoirs over time. We've been monitoring these systems for almost 30 years now. And so one of the critical things that we look at is that long-term health. Is the water getting better? Is it getting worse? We care about the water quality of these reservoirs for several reasons. One is just for the reservoir itself, to know if there's some kind of action that we need to take to improve that water quality. The other reason we monitor is for our customer cities. Some of the things that we monitor in the reservoirs are more problematic for them to treat. Excess nutrients from fertilizer runoff can lead to algal blooms, which can cause taste and odor problems in the short term. So staying in tune with the lakes throughout the year helps us spot trends that could require action. So we just keep kind of a pulse on the reservoirs and understand whether things are getting worse or getting better or if there's something changing so that water treatment plants or even the public can be informed. Depending on the size of the reservoir, we have anywhere from three to six sampling locations. We have sampling sites that go all the way from the headwaters of the reservoir all the way to the dam. So we want to look at the different water quality as it moves through the reservoir. In addition to monitoring water quality in the reservoirs, we also collect and analyze samples from the tributaries flowing into the lakes. It gives us a better picture of what's happening in our watersheds and lets us know where we can take proactive steps to reduce the inflows of sediment and nutrients. We've learned a lot over the years, and through our observations, we can show that the water quality in our reservoirs has remained consistently good. We've, over the years, have latched onto a chlorophyll A as the most diagnostic parameter to look at the health of a reservoir. That's the greenness of the lake. It's a test that really kind of tells you how healthy that lake is. It's kind of like the EKG of the, do the doctor does on your heart. So we're closing in on 30 years of information. We've done a number of studies to take a look at trends over those period of time. The change is just not as significant as you'd expect. It's just the size, just the magnitude of these reservoirs are huge. They receive the majority of their water from big events. It's not like a day-to-day -day input. It's these huge events that come in and kind of flush out the reservoir. So we get like a reset button from some of these big flooding events. So I think that's really kept our situation from changing drastically. Another key part of our monitoring program, answering questions about potential impacts to our lakes before they happen. Every one of our reservoirs has a computer model that allows you to to do what if games, like what if we take that wetland water and put it into Richland Chambers? Is that gonna change the quality of that reservoir very much? We've answered that question before it even happened. So we're kind of a light year ahead of most agencies. That's a good place to be. And even with the growth in North Texas, we're finding that the water quality in our lakes is in good shape. Making sure it stays that way is something that we will continue to pursue. Even with this tremendous population growth and all the things that have happened around here. You know, everyone thinks that this area has changed so much, but the water quality has remained pretty consistent and we're still doing pretty well. So as users of the reservoirs, whether it's recreation, whether it's water supply, whatever that use is, I think it's important that the public know that somebody's watching the system. 